Hello everyone and welcome to Yapoon in central Queensland. It is the Capricorn Coast here and it is the gateway to the Keppel Islands. This place has been touted as the new Byron Bay or Noosa, so we have come here to check it out for ourselves. We've got some lookouts, some nice little cafes and this Austin Lagoon. Let's go check it all out. So one of the highlights of Yapoon has to be this massive lagoon which is not that old, it's quite new here, but it's a beautiful place to watch the sunrise and that's what we've been doing this morning. Um, there's a little island right in the middle, we have a cafe and a restaurant right here, the rocks, um, as well as an area for children to play, shallow water, and then just a massive lagoon which you can swim around in. It's so well done and we just think it's incredible. So definitely put that one on your bucket list when you come to your food. Okay, it's lunchtime here in Yapoon and we stopped at this lovely little place called The Bungalow. As you can see, it has some really nice vibes here, it's really nice aesthetic. Ooh. We found a couple of vegan options here, we went for two little sharing plates, some cauliflower bites and some char broccolini. Corey has gone for a ice mocha and he's going to get a vegan banana bread too and he's very excited. Okay, I'm very excited, we've got some cauliflower bites with a pumpkin and cashew dip some grilled broccolini with some almonds and I've forgotten the name of that dip but it looks delicious and Corey has banana bread we thought this was going to be simple but look how fancy that is oh my god I'm going to have some of that yum oh my god <laughs> that's really good I'm a happy punter everything's yummy could eat that all day I see one Three empty plates and one Guilty. happy smile. <laughs> well, we're all done. That was super lovely. To say we just had a little tasting of what that offers. They have some great dishes on the lunch menu that were bigger. But I think Corey's already scheming that he wants to come back here for breakfast maybe one day. Today is very exciting. I have two tickets and we are going to Great Keppel Island for the day. It's just off the coast of Yapoon and we have booked just a day trip. So, it's a little bit bumpy this boat. Uh, they said it's a little bit windy, so it's expected, but we are both very prone to seasickness. Corey more so than me. He's vomited on every single boat I've ever been on with him. <laughs> um, we're just hoping we're going to get there soon, because we just had breakfast and it's moving around in my belly. <laughs> Okay, we have just made it onto Great Keppel Island and the boat was a little bit rough and I think I need to give this lens a little clean. Ah, that is better, so we are at the cafe and kiosk now and we are just planning what to do. So we have got until 4 o'clock, so I think we're going to go and explore some beaches and go for some walks to look at. So people do come here for bushwalking, there's lots of trails around the island. Uh, we can see why because we've been on this walk for maybe about 30 minutes and we've already had like quite a few different landscapes. At Second Beach there's this big tree and it's got all these boys in there and people have put messages on them and it's a rope swing as well. We've just been loving it. But we're going to carry on now to Svensson Beach and then around to the next bay which I think we can do some snorkeling at. Let's go. to see we did see some fish they're pretty nice <laughs> they're pretty cute we didn't see anything exciting like turtles but we did have some fun we haven't been snorkeling in ages that was really nice and it's made us want to do a lot more up the eastern coast and all over Oz so more islands more islands more snorkeling more reefs We didn't get in snacks. There is a beautiful picnic spot at the top of Yapoon 
Just on the northern side of the beach, we can come up here and watch the waves roll in as we overlook the boardwalk of Yapoon all the way down to the lagoon. Um, there is also a crocodile in the bay at the moment. So Keppel Bay, we've got the Keppel Islands view out here as well. And everyone is on high alert. There's helicopters in the sky looking for this crocodile as it travels around. Um, but we are gonna head south now, past Keppel Bay Marina, which is in Roslyn, um, to the national park where there is a walk to a turtle lookout. So hope, hoping to see some turtles. We're at Bluff Point now, and this is just south of Yapoon, south of the Keppel Bay Marina. It's a little hill that overlooks the bay. So we're getting up pretty high now. We've been covered under forest, but there is a nice little viewpoint. We can see an eagle floating above this bay here. And it looks like there's another little rock to climb as well. Not sure if we'll get to that, but... Pretty good view from here. We can see all these islands scattered about. There's the main Keppel Island over there. But there's these much smaller ones just over here in the bay. Lots to explore. There is. I think we've reached the top. There's a nice bench here. But look at this view. It's pretty much nearly all here, 180 degree views. We've got this beautiful coast down here of Yapoon. And then we have the Keppels over here. Yeah, it's pretty gorgeous. I don't know what this spot is called exactly, if this is Turtle Lookout. That's further on I think, but I think this is the top of the National Park walk. And it's so nice. We're at Turtle Lookout now and Charlotte has already seen two turtles and I'm just trying to capture them uh, for you guys to see as well with the zoom camera. But um, yeah, Turtle Lookout stands up to its name. <laughs> I've been capturing turtles and now I'm zoomed in onto a couple of dolphins passing by. This is very exciting. <laughs> and a sea eagle? Yeah, some sea eagles. It's a bit tricky, but we're getting them. So, Bluff Point walking track, definitely recommend. I reckon it would be a hundred times better if you went there at sunrise or sunset. But even if you don't make it for then, and you get the midday sun, you're probably gonna have an easier time seeing turtles and dolphins and stuff through the water. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend getting up there if you're staying in Yapoon or nearby. Yeah, this is Wreck Point, and there's a nice little walk just down there. It's a little bit breezy here, but again, a nice view. Okay, we're now doing a review of all the fish and chip shops in town and their hot chips. <laughs> now we've just been down to Who's Cooking. They've got beautiful bear battered hot chips. And we've come up to the lookout we were at earlier today and just chilling out and a beautiful afternoon in Yapoon. <laughs>